Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a vlog for you again and I just wanted to start off by doing a very mini haul because I went shopping yesterday. I'm starting a new Christmas series on my channel which is exciting, get you all in the Christmas spirit and I bought a few things because I thought that would kind of, I don't know, I just thought it'd be a good idea because I needed some things for this series so yes, I will show you. First of all, I got this, it's the Colours of Christmas traditional design pad and basically it has loads of different Christmassy images, backgrounds and I don't really want to give too much away here but it's got loads of different patterns which is going to be really good for kind of like the backdrop in some videos so got that, that was £3 and then from the same shop, I think it was the works. Um, I then got this, you're probably thinking, why, seriously? But it's got a cute little door on the front of it, it's wooden, so it opens up and I just thought that'd be really good for like, I don't know, I, I just got a bit carried away really. This was seven pound and how cute would it look though, with a little hamster in there or the gerbils just coming out the door. <laughs> So yeah, I'm also wanting some paint though. I'm looking into buying soy based paints, but I can't actually find where to get them. So let me know if you do because I need some, otherwise it's just gonna look like this. Then we went to the range and I got these which are so cute. They're glow in the dark toadstools. So I can put them in the outdoor guinea pig enclosure and then they will light up and look very, very nice. So we got some of them as you do. Then also I needed some willow sticks. I didn't actually plan on getting this whole set but it was much better value. It only cost like four or five pounds to get all of these. So you get two sets of willow sticks and two of the woven willow balls. So. I got some of them and this is kind of a bit gross but I got some what's in here, silkworm, shrimp and mealworms and it's just like it says for hamsters, rats, gerbils and mice. It's just basically a protein feed because I only have mealworms I think it's good to sort of try and feed different types of protein rather than just the mealworms so I got some of them. Then I also picked up some lolly sticks for some DIYs that I'm doing. So I'm very excited for doing this Christmas series. I'm just gonna put that out there, I'm kind of excited. And I kind of planned most of the videos already. Um, the guinea pigs here, uh, their cage looks a little bit different to last time. It's still the exact same size, it just goes further under. And they have an upper shelf now, and this blanket's not really meant to be like that. Um, so that's their upper shelf and it's all boarded off with this. Jasper's just on my bed, he's having a bit of a snooze. Or he's washing himself at the minute. Oh, you're a cutie. Look at his little fangs, bless him. You're so sweet. Oh, I've got a text. <laughs> I'm just going to go and shut the rabbits in. They are actually both inside on the window ledge. Um, but I don't want them to be sort of running around whilst I'm not here. So I'm just coming to lock up the little girl. Here they both are. So cute. <laughs> Vinny's in the car now. So we're about to set off and we're going to go and take him on a nice long walk. He always gets like really excited. Don't you? You love walking. Hello. <laughs> this is a statue.
So we've walked for about six kilometers, so we've walked quite far. We don't really know how much further we've got, but it's a really nice sunny day. It is quite cold, but it's really nice and sunny and yeah, it's just nice to get out because we've been stuck in the house for ages and haven't been able to walk Vinny very far. So yeah, it's just a really nice day. Vinny's really enjoying it, as you can see. <laughs> just finished doing everything outside on my jobs it seems like I've had a lot to do tonight I don't know I just feel like I've been out quite late Um oh there's a gerbil on top that's peanut I think there he is um, a lot of people always see them doing this and they think that I leave them like this all the time they do have a lid it's over there um, but I just let them run around the top because, well, I don't really let them. It's just whenever I lift the lid off for ventilation or for feeding them or whatever, they just do this. I'm going to go and feed them because I think that's what they're expecting. Hello. I'll get their little treat box out. This is their little treat box. And by the way, sorry, it's really fuzzy and bad quality. It's just because the light in my room is quite dim. Um... So it's not the best quality. I do apologise. So I'm just going to go and get a few treats out for them. There's a pumpkin seed. Oh, oh you dropped it. You need another one then. <laughs> He's trying to look for it. There you go. Oh, he doesn't know where to take it. <laughs> He's gonna try and jump back in. Oh, that's so cute. He's actually become so much more confident lately. He used to be the really shy gerbil, but he's really come out of his shell lately. And I don't know where Chestnut's gone. <laughs> he definitely needs some sort of hammock in there. There we go. There you are. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> oh, look where he's sat. <laughs> he's so funny. Hello. Oh, you can't get up. 